I show you what I play on stage mostly. This is the story behind it. Uh, this is called now called The Stars, made by Boris. But it's like I started out with a Gibson Explorer uh, made in 1976. I joined the Scorpions in 78. I bought it in a store, brand new. I still have it. That's the one where I play like Rocky Like a Hurricane and all those. No Man Like You and all those songs everybody knows. And uh, later on, it was here on the fairgrounds in 1987. I was sitting together with the Gibson people. And I said, you know what? I'm a tiny guy. The guitar is very big. And couldn't we make it smaller? Also, I need 24 frets and a Floyd Rose system. So they built the so-called Explorer 90. 90 because it's 90% of the size, the body shape, with a 24 a fret neck uh, and a tremolo locking system. They used a Steinberg at the beginning, but then we used uh, Floyd Rose. And the reason why I came up with these stripes is that in also 1980, I went to Pete's guitar. I had this one guitar painted it white myself. It was a, like a, a mahogany guitar, the, the original Explorer. And um, then I bought a second one because I didn't have a spare guitar in the beginning. <laughs> and because I was so proud that I had a spare guitar, I put cover tape on the one white guitar. And so the people could see I have more than one. <laughs> that's the true story. And the lighting designer said, that's great. You know, I can see that guitar for miles. And then, you know, at the beginning it was always gaffer tape. Later on, Gibson painted the stripes on, and this is now a version by Boris. It's the Explorer 90, and this is called Stars because it has these nice inlays. And to show you really nice inlays, we are moving on to the black one. Now, are these still made of mahogany, just like the originals, no. or? No, these are, that, they are different. I just experimented, and it went so well. These are Corina wood. He has a, like a lot of old Corina, like 50, 60 years old Corina. So we are talking basically 1958, something like that. It would, and has a thick layer of maple, like in an old Liz Paul. It was so you can get a, a brighter tone? Or? Yes, it was just a thought, let's try that. And it works so well. And this, I think, number four or number five, I have like five of these all together. And you find the stripes again, black on black this time. And it's the same layout, uh, but Look at those, uh, this is his work here. It's very cool. It like, looks like 3D dimensional. So when did you have these two made from uh, Boris? They're, they're new. They were maybe made like two years ago. So I, I really played them on stage. It's very light too, the, the, the old, very dry Corina wood. And uh, here we have uh, Star Trek. You know, this guitar goes to places where no man went before. <laughs> what, um, what pickups do you have in these two? These are made by Boris. They're his, uh, his muscle bucker and he gives them funny names. So they're like a humbucker with a high output, but they sound very clean. So I don't like if it's like wishy-washy, you know, even I have it like distortion going in the in a chord, you still, still should hear like every string. And that's what these do. They, they sound very clear, a lot of clarity. It's made of plastic and you see something authentic going on here <laughs> it's like green yeah exactly and it's made by national and it's like an airline and uh, some people collect those like David Lee Roth told me once he has lots of these plastic guitars yeah it doesn't surprise me um, and uh, I have one of them <laughs> I must mention this this is like a friend of mine he makes those as I also give like people are starting out building guitars give them a, a chance. This is wood, nice wood, they play well. They're called Anka guitars, and uh, he has like about a hundred different designs, A and C A, oh. and uh, <coughs> that's his, his brand. Show you another model. They always like have a, like a, from the outer silhouette, they're always like explorers to a certain extent, but it's every time like, he cuts out something different, he has one made for me where it says scorpions in here, but it's like, with the uh, laser, you know, it's like put in like these things. Yes, right. It's very cool. It's a kind of art deco. Yes, exactly. So and they play well. So you know, this is here. This is his logo. You should think of a different one. And uh, I use EMGs and I see. Yes. Yeah, they are active. I personally, I play passive pickups, but they sound nice here. Those, those guitars. This is a, the last one I want to show you. <clears throat> this is one of the very first guitars ever to come out 
of the Gibson Custom Shop. In 1984, when they just moved to Nashville, were opening up the, the Custom Shop, and they made me this with star inlays and original Gibson hamburgers. This just looks funny because I put like wax around it. It used to be, that's, that's what we were doing in the 80s. Uh -huh. Today, we just buy a different pickup. That's awesome. Because it was like feeding back. So that, that's, yeah, it's one of a kind. Thank you so much, Matthias, yeah. Yeah, for, uh, so, um, you know, come to beautiful Bavaria and visit me in my store. I'm not there at the moment, but uh, when the tour is over. All right, well, good to meet you, Matthias, and nice we'll be in you. touch. Yeah. I'm Sean Hammond. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.